everybody, it's Lon Zybin, and it's time for your weekly wrap-up. And I want to first begin by thanking our newest Patreon and fan funding supporters who have uh, made some monetary contributions to the channel. So we have Gary A., who contributed via fan funding. He is a frequent commenter on our comment stream there. Uh, EdT1138, who's got a great retro gaming channel. In fact, I subscribed to him, I think, before he subscribed to me. So uh, I've been a fan of his for a while. You can check out his channel just by going to that uh, name right there. Uh, Nicholas Staubrand and Randall Adams also contributed via Patreon too, and your support is greatly appreciated. I changed the end card on all of my videos uh, to list out uh, the monthly Patreon supporters. I'm going to change that list at the beginning of every month. So if you uh, contributed after October 1st, you'll be showing up on the November videos. So uh, thank you all for your contributions. They do help out the channel quite a bit. We did look at a lot of stuff this week. We had the new Amazon Fire TV. We also had the Google Chromecast audio. Uh, we took a look at a new tablet from Lenovo. Uh, we also had this really cool uh, car thing called the Anki Overdrive. It's like a slot car thing without the slots. The cars actually stay on the track with technology. Did a whole review on that. You can check it out. Really cool device there. Uh, we also finished up our sponsored series on the WD MyCloud, uh, the MyCloud in the browser, uh, as well as the uh, Dropbox functionality that is available now on the MyCloud with their new uh, 3.0 operating system. So those two videos feature two new features that were not on the platform before, but are now. So check those out and let me know what you think of those. So in the news this week, we had some interesting stuff from Microsoft announced, including this amazing looking new laptop called the Surface Book. It is a hybrid, so you can pull the screen off and get yourself a tablet. Uh, what's nice is that it's a three by two aspect ratio, so it's more of a square screen, which will give you uh, more readability as you're holding it. Uh, and what's also interesting is that if you pick the mid-tier option, the keyboard base has an NVIDIA GPU on board, so you can uh, get a discrete graphics processor on an Ultrabook, which uh, I'm not seeing a lot of discrete GPUs on a lot of these computers lately. There probably are a bunch out there. I know a lot of you will tell me that which ones they are, uh, but I haven't seen it in a lot of the uh, Ultra books that have come my way lately. So it's nice to see that. You do have to go above the base configuration though to get that GPU. Uh, so you're looking at probably about $2,000 after shipping and tax and everything uh, to get one of these with that. It'll have an i5 processor at that price and the top end price is about $2,700 or so. So this lines up with the MacBook Pro uh, in pricing, but it is a really neat looking Windows computer. I'm going to get one actually into the channel to review. Uh, so when it gets here, I will definitely put it through its paces. I'm really intrigued by this. Um, also, what a design on this. I don't think you can find a, a laptop with a discrete GPU that is as thin or as cool looking as this one is. So uh, we'll get it in here and put it through its paces. And I think it might become my primary Windows computer after all is said and done. I have both platforms here because I have to test everything and I really do use both platforms quite a bit. Uh, we also, I, I'm not gonna, I may not get this right away, but the, uh, the new phones from Microsoft, the new Windows phones have a dot available that will turn the phone uh, into a desktop computer. Now, unfortunately, I don't think this is going to run a lot of the older Windows software because uh, the phones are not running Intel processors. They are running with uh, ARM processors from Qualcomm. So I, I would imagine you have to use apps that are targeted at this processor versus uh, apps that might run on anything uh, like you might see on the Intel side. So we'll have to see how this all works when it comes out. But very intriguing design, uh, really kind of neat actually when you think about it, to be able to plug your phone in and get a full desktop PC. What would be really interesting is to see if some of the Intel-based uh, Windows phones will also do that. Because we know Asus, I think, is making one uh, with an Intel processor. I know they have an Android phone with an Intel chip on it. that would be really cool if you could just plug your phone in and get uh, an Intel desktop PC whenever you get back to your office and plug in. I think that'd be a really cool concept. So I'm eager to see how that works. I might go run up to the Microsoft store and check it out when it arrives. And what you're seeing here is what I did all weekend. <laughs> I did a couple of videos and then I played a lot of Star Wars Battlefront. This is a beta right now. Back in my day, they called them demos, but uh, this is a short-term beta. It may even be over by the time you see this video. I think I got a message tonight uh, telling me that it's just about over with, but uh, the full game will be out on November 17th. But I am just totally blown away by this. It's a Star Wars game, of course, and uh, it's taking place in the Star Wars that I grew up with, uh, the original trilogy. Just look how awesome and detailed these graphics are. The snow, you know, it has these, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but you can see the little grains of, of uh, snowflakes in the, on the ground. The, you know, people leave footprints. You can see just the, the capes on these stormtroopers kind of flowing, you know, under, behind them. It's just amazing just what they've put together here, even for the beta. I've been just totally blown away by 
uh, what's going on in this game, and I am really eager to buy the full version. What's nice too for me is that this is something you can just pop in, uh, play for 20 minutes, and go about your <laughs> go about the rest of your day. So uh, it's not a huge commitment, but it can be if you want to level up and everything. But uh, amazing game, definitely check it out when it comes down. Maybe we'll have a, a game night where we'll all go into the same uh, server room and play uh, Star Wars Battlefront together. I think that'd be pretty cool. So this week we got a bunch of stuff coming up. I've got a backpack to check out. This is from DJI. It's their hard shell uh, backpack for protecting your drone. I have that one shot. That should be out soon. Uh, you can buy now a, a $60 tablet at Walmart. So we saw the $50 uh, Amazon tablet. This is the $60 Windows Walmart tablet. It runs the full version of Windows uh, Bay Trail processor. I'm, I'm putting Windows 10 on it as we speak. And once that is done, I'll get my usual array of test stuff on there and uh, play around with it a little bit. Uh, so neat price point. Uh, not the best display on it though, but you'll see more when I get it out on this table for the full review. I am going to try to get that Kensington dock done finally. I'm leaving it in the wrap up until I get it done because I do want to check that out. It's having all this cool stuff has been coming in and it unfortunately knocks docks out of contention sometimes so they get they get bumped. I also got a neat PC in from, I think this is the ECS group, the people that made that Leva Mini X PC we looked at about a year ago. Uh, this is their new one that runs with a Core M processor. This is without question the fastest fanless PC I have tried. It's got a Core M processor built in. If you check out some of my Core M reviews that I've done, which I'll link in the uh, master playlist above, uh, this uh, will perform pretty much where most of those Core M laptops we looked at perform. So it's going to cost a little bit more, but you're going to get some awesome performance out of here. Uh, it doesn't have a discrete GPU, so you're still with the Intel graphics, but uh, it is a really fast processing uh, machine. So I think you'll like uh, that for office work and some of the stuff related to that. So pretty cool there. And we got a big monstrosity from Toshiba. This is one of those big like 15 or 16 inch, 17 inch laptops that has the number pad on it. Uh, so it's a big laptop from Toshiba. It's under $1,000, but it's running with an i7 processor, uh, but the display is rather low resolution. So they put a a lot into the uh, processing horsepower, not so much into the into the display, but we will uh, put it through its paces and see how it compares out there. But it looks like a you know nice machine that you might see at Best Buy or something like that. So we'll be putting that one uh, on the table here. And if you want to help the channel, you can. You can go to lon.tv slash Patreon and make a monthly contribution to the channel. Uh, we also have fan funding set up at lon.tv so you can uh, help the channel in two different ways. Those funds go towards paying for or helping me to pay for the things that I buy on the channel, review, and then resell. Now that fund does not go to the expensive toys like the Microsoft uh, book thing that I'm buying. That's that's not what this fund is used for. Uh, it is used for things like the, uh, the, uh, the, the Transmart PC we looked at last week or the Walmart tablet that we'll be looking at next week. I'm buying those things. I'm reselling them at a loss, usually through my store at lon.tv slash store. So if you go on that address. I usually post the things that I have reviewed and I sell them for less than what I bought them for because they are used items and I don't want to, uh, I obviously can't sell them for full price once they've been opened and played with. So uh, check out the store or if you want to help contribute, uh, those are some ways you can help the channel out because I really do like grabbing these inexpensive items to review and when you buy enough of them, it kind of adds up. And a lot of manufacturers don't like sending out review loaners of these products because they're not big profit makers for them. Uh, so they often focus on the higher end stuff and uh, the low end stuff. They just kind of push out into the market and if people buy it, they buy it, but otherwise they don't market it all that heavily. So that will do it for this week. You can connect with the channel on my email list at lon.tv slash email. We got the Facebook page, lon.tv slash Facebook, and of course, our forums at lon.tv slash forums. So that will do it for this week. Thank you always for your viewership. Uh, please keep those questions and comments coming. Leave them below. Send me an email, lon at lon.tv or uh, visit the Facebook page. This is Lon Sivan. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the generosity of my Patreon supporters. If you find the channel helpful, you too can contribute for as little as a dollar a month. Visit lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more.